Good evening, everybody. Tonight's taste test is going to be spicy honeys. See you in a minute. Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Uh, today is what? Uh, Tuesday, July 27th. Sorry I haven't uh, made a video in the last week. Got the grandkids up, so they've been keeping us quite busy. Um, but I'm back. Uh, remember, if you, at the end of this video, if you like it, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe, hit the notifications. I'm up to, I think, 39 subscribers. And our thing is, we get to 100, we are going to do uh, that $50 uh, gift basket of different hot sauces, salsas, honey, stuff that I like. Oh, we have all kinds and of stuff. And I'm going to do the uh, Toa Satan Challenge. So, alrighty, let's get into tonight. Tonight's video is going to be on spicy honeys. I've got five different honeys from different companies. The one that I'm looking forward to the most, I'm not going to lie, because I'm I love their other products, it's Spicy Shark Honey. I love their hot sauces. I got some other products that really I'm try. Good. We have Spicy Shark, we have Mike's Hot Honey, we have Devil's Advocate, which is uh, ghost pepper infused honey, we have Fuego Spice Hot Hive Honey, which is, I want to say, Carolina Reaper. Hey. Reaper. And Blazing Bees, which is hot honey habanero. So let's get right into this. The last one I'm going to do, though, is... I was just going to ask you. I was like, he's going to save So my the first one I'm going to do last. is the Blazing Bees. That's the honey infused with habanero. Nice. Um, ingredients. Honey. Uh, they put still vinegar in there. Why is that? Habanero peppers, cane sugar. So this isn't pure honey. Did they lie? It's not pure honey. You got carrot cane sugar in it. It's not pure. It should just be honey. So right there, I'm already kind of disappointed in this company. Sorry guys. If your company's listening to me, I you know if I like your product, I like it. If I don't, I'll tell you. And right there, you just kind of disappointed me. Yeah, it see the habanero flakes in there though. So here we go. Pours like honey, but once you put the sugar in there, it's no longer pure yeah, honey. Yeah, I don't get it. But. So here we go. This is the uh, Blazing Bees Hot Honey Habanero. It's good. That bite. Oh, it's only a, a one. Definitely taste the habanero. Definitely taste the, I mean, you do taste the honey, but I can also take taste, I probably shouldn't have read the ingredients, but I can taste the fakeness. I get, that's not really a word, but not, it's not pure honey. So it's good. On a scale, heat, heat level, a one. So I'm not going to go to the Reaper next. I'll do Ghost Pepper next. This is Devil's Advocate Ghost Pepper Infused Honey. It says Be Wild. So, it doesn't even have an ingredient list on it. But this stuff is thick. It says organic, Formerly Organic Advocate Honey, 12 ounce. Be Wild. It's a lot thicker than that other one. Looks dark too. Ooh, I can smell the ghost pepper in that one. What the hell do we got in here? Jesus. Um. Oh, that's the, that's the ghost pepper. Oh, let's see that. Okay, it kind of scared the crap out of me when he pulled it out. I'm like, oh my god, what the <laughs> I hell? Saw I saw something like, stick. I saw a tail. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, that's definitely pure honey. It's all crystal. Yeah. Mm. Yummy. It's crystallizing. Nice. I love crystallized honey. Oh, what do we got here? Why is this? All right, let's give this one a shot. So what I like about that, that's the pepper that's right in there. It doesn't look like they put anything else in there other than that. And then the honey. You can smell that ghost pepper. There we go. 
Pure honey. Nice. Nothing fake in this one. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's got a bite. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know what I should have done is given you some cream cheese. Oh, that's good. Because adding stuff like that, like uh, something like that on a cream oh, cheese on a cracker is a yummy way to have. That is really good. Mm. That is actually fantastic, honey, right there. Devil's Advocate, ghost pepper infused honey. Right there. Oh, I like the label. That's good. Here, honey. Heat level though, it's even though it's ghost pepper. The one, wild buzz, one. it's called. You can taste it. I can taste it on my my. It's on my lips more than anything. It's really good. So the next one we're gonna do. I'm gonna save the Carolina Reaper one for the second to last. Okay, so we're gonna do Mike's hot honey infused with chilies. Doesn't say what the peppers are. It says honey, chilies, vinegar. This is a mix. It's honey sourced from USA, Argentina, and Brazil. I don't know. Party time. I don't have high hopes for this one. Well, it's crystallizing though. Dave used time? to raise bees, so he knows. Uh, 641. So he knows all about his honey business. Nice. Put vinegar in the honey. Unless it's the chili mix itself. I can see flakes in there, but it doesn't say what it is. So that's the mics. Not much of a smell. That one there, I can smell the ghost pepper. That one there, I can smell the habanero. His face is like, hold on, that's what Dave looks like when he doesn't like stuff. Uh -huh. That is actually the hottest one out of the three so far. Oh, I thought you had a face like you didn't like it. Um got something in there. Chewing on something here. Let's see if I can see anything in there. Yeah, I can see probably pepper parts, pepper flakes, whatever in there. It's all crystallized on the one side. You can see it on the bottom flakes. Mm. I love honey. Hmm. Flavor wise, it's the hottest one of the bunch so far. Probably a one and a half. Um, but consistency overall, so far, this is my favorite so far. That one here, you can tell, is not pure honey. That's honey. That's honey. Flavor wise, the best one so far. All right, here we go. So you heard them. Flavor wise, this one. This here, one is the best. You said hottest. That's the hottest one so yep. far. So and the best flavor the is what? That one okay. Here. All right, so this one here is the Hot Hive Spicy Blossom Honey. Sweet and fiery honey infused with Carolina Reaper, the Fuego Spice Company. And ingredients, honey, apple cider, vinegar, Carolina Reaper. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with... Uh... Um, it says organic apple cider vinegar, so that might be mixed with the, probably the peppers maybe. It's all, this is definitely, uh, oh, I can smell the reaper on that. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Ooh. It's crystallizing. Heat level on this one, it says 4 out of 10. Let's see. I don't see any flakes in there. That one looks runnier. I oh, know, actually, there's a flake. There are a couple flakes. Was that runnier? 
a little bit runnier, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. My least favorite. The honey is just not, it's not good honey. I mean, it's okay. It's not a... I can taste that apple cider vinegar. That's what's throwing me off. The reaper in it. Taste the reaper, but the apple cider vinegar is throwing me completely off from the taste of the honey. And I'm not a fan of that. I like apple cider vinegar, but... It's throwing the whole taste off. What do we have for time? You are at 10.45. So that's just throwing me off. Heat-wise, that's probably a two. So it's the hot, it's the hot, I mean, I don't want to say hot. It's the warmest of the two, of the four so far. I had that pushed up for the one that you like the best, the devil's so, advocate so far. Now we go to what yeah. hope it kicks butt, because yep. I love the spicy shark products. They're giving this a, on their scale, of three fins out of five. So they're saying be like a one and a half out of ten, two out of ten, going by that. So this is what I like about uh, uh, spicy shark. It doesn't seem great. A honey, habanero pepper, and cinnamon, uh, natural cinnamon. No, nothing else. Oh, I like their product, and plus I like the owner. He's awesome. We're not pushing them because... Nothing you know, special. I just think they're pretty cool people. Their, their products are second to none. Yep, so and I had the pleasure of meeting him. I can see this. I can smell some cinnamon. This is thick. Thicker. Yeah, I can see some... I don't know. I don't know what they say? Harbonero? The hottest one so far. Oh wow! And that's habanero. So you think the ghost pepper and the Carolina Reaper would be hotter? Not in this. Taste wise. Taste wise, this is absolutely phenomenal. Told you, the product's <laughs> awesome. It's got a bite. They're saying three out of three out of five. So that would say about two out of ten. Ooh, I'd give her two and a half. Oh wow. Give me hiccups for some reason. Cinnamon. That is really good. Flavor wise, though, by far the best. The worst. Next. And there you have it. Yum. These two are excellent. This one here, phenomenal. Love that one. What kills me with this one is the apple cider. This one here, put it this way, there's a considerable drop from these two to these next, next three. Oh, wow. Huge drop. No, I'm not um, advertising, but I love my Frappuccinos. <laughs> So, there you go, guys. That's my spicy honey taste test that I have for products from these guys. So, we have the Spicy Shark, uh, Devil's Advocate from Be Wild Honey, Mike's Hot Honey, Blazing Bees Hot Honey Habanero, and Fuego Spice Hot Hive uh, Carolina Reaper. Awesome. Okay. I wouldn't buy them again. These two here, I'd buy every day of the week yeah. if I could. I've Those actually already gone through my Chipotle. All right, sauce. guys. So that's the video for tonight. Hope you liked it. If you like the button, if you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe, share, hit the notification. Thank you for pa Paula for recording again. I got a lot more coming. Hopefully, uh, again, we hit that hundred subscriber mark. I'm doing a fifty dollar uh, giveaway gift basket. So all right, guys. 
see you uh, Wednesday for a, uh, not sure what we're going to do for a weird food video for Wednesday, but this is Taste Test Sunday, even though it's Tuesday, but talk to you guys later. Have a good night.